to take care of our skin. So let's get started. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right. OK, everybody, imagine being able to predict where your wrinkles will form. Like, they're in there, but you just don't know where they're coming. Well, there's a new technology that can do just that. And here to tell us more about it is Shafali Sharma from Bright Tech's Biophotonics. Good, thank you. All right, Shafali, so you've got this big contraption here. Yes, Tell us we about do. it and what makes it unique. Tyra, this is the Clarity Pro system, and this is cutting edge technology for advanced skin analysis. You're going to start seeing the system at dermatologists' office, in medical spas, clinics across the nation. And what, how does it work? It works by taking several images of your face, uh -huh. and then what we do is use some fancy mathematical algorithms to extract and quantify your skin's condition. Extract and quantify our skin yes, exactly. conditions. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, they came to my house, actually. Isn't that bling bling? They came to my house yes, with did. this machine the other day, and they did my skin. So let's show everybody my face. Okay. And, and, and you guys did my picture in this machine. Yes, we and took your image. So, so what do you see? Don't I look happy? <laughs> <laughs> you look happy. All right, so what we looked at first was where you fall on the Fitzpatrick scale of being a one to six. And you came up as a skin type five. So that allows us to see how much time you can really spend in the sun. So that means I can spend a lot of time? You can spend about an hour to 80 minutes oh, so without one, any damage. OK, so one means you can't really spend hardly any, and you six can means spend you can about, spend a lot. Yeah, on a day's average UV index of a nine, uh, out of one, you get about five minutes. OK, does that have to do, mine being a five, does that have to do with me being a woman of color? Yes, it does. So okay. you have a little bit Go more black girls, because not every black girl. Not every black girl. Yes. Not every black girl. That's the rumor that we're going to get to in a little bit. OK. Not every black girl, you guys. Don't be coming, being burnt, and calling me and saying, I told you, you can stand the sun. <laughs> All right. OK, so I hear this machine can also predict pimples. That's true. So we explain can. that. All right, so what we're going to take a look like at before first. Before it comes out, you know where before, it is. Before you see anything that's going on on your skin surface. And what so first, what we're looking at first here is your excessive sebum, or sluggish oil flow. So these are your clogged pores. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I hate to tell you this, but. That's Those where you need to watch pores? out for sluggish oil. Yes, What's up with the exactly. right side of my nose? Camera, camera left, right? <laughs> it's like, so there's like some pimples up in there. I get well, pimples in there a lot, too. Do you really? Don't you guys hate it? Those are the ones you can't reach? <laughs> All right, so you also can see underneath my skin? Yes, we can. And see those red spots there, Tara? Yeah. That's what you want to look out for tomorrow morning. Watch that spot. <laughs> what is that? That's the pimples? That's where your pimples <gasps> will be coming. That's your next I love pimples. It. We, we need this in the house. Doesn't everybody want one in their house? <laughs> well, you're all getting it in your house. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so <laughs> what does it say about my wrinkles? Ooh. Here's your wrinkles. OK, so you want to look out for your eye zone. Let's take a look at your wrinkle count. How many wrinkles do I have? Your wrinkle count came up to a 150. I have 150 wrinkles. Yes, it did. <laughs> Am I, is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's a moderate number of wrinkles. Why are my lips on wrinkles? Well, yeah, that's something that you probably don't think about, <laughs> is taking care of your lips, that's the skin what, on your lips. You know what, you guys? Do you guys go to the stores and you see the lip balm has SPF? I'm like, yeah, I don't need that on my exactly, lips. Exactly, but you do. So I do. And you need to take care of that also. OK. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. Now, here. we've all heard you're supposed to stay out of the sun to keep your skin healthy. We've all heard that. But I want everybody to meet a lady who might not have heard that advice. Where's Sarah? Come on up here, Sarah. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Have a seat right there. Right there. So, Sarah, I hear that you're an admitted tanorexic. Yes, Tyra. It all started actually with my mother, who's 10 times worse than me. Whenever I was eight years old, that's whenever I went to my first tanning bed. You went to your first tanning bed at eight years old? I went to my first old? tanning bed at eight years old, and my mom said, oh, go ahead and stick your legs in. So I'm like, OK, all right. They start to change color. So by the time I'm 13, I have my first tanning membership. Oh, my gosh, at 13 years old. And then I hear, you know, I know the tanning places, they only allow you to go a certain amount of times, a certain amount of days. Yes. And you were like, oh, that's not enough. I was going seven enough. days a week with my mom at 13, five to seven, and then starting whenever I could drive. That's whenever it got pretty intense because not only did I have one tanning membership at one area, I had another one an hour away. So I could double up because... You could double it. Aren't you worried about damaging your skin? Um, no, not really. I mean, there's always Botox. You die. <laughs> you die. Everybody dies for a certain, you know, it's already planned out. Is it really? 
I believe it's You think it's already planned, planned out, so you're just going to die of, like, well, wrinkleitis? Well, you can die for anything, like, <laughs> soccer. You can get cancer for saccharin, you can get cancer for smoking, all that. And that's why you're not supposed to smoke and probably not to have too much saccharin. You know what I'm saying? Mm. All right, Sarah. Well, we're going to do your face. All right? <laughs> so earlier I showed you guys what I would look like if I didn't take care of my skin. So we're going to see what the wizards at the KNB effects can do to age Sarah. Not age her, but enhance this photo of her. Let's look into the crystal ball of Sarah's face. <laughs> Put your head in there, Sarah. Okay. There you go. Ready? Okay. Close, Close your eyes. eyes. Kind of like the okay, you're booth. done. Okay. You wow. What does what does Sarah's prediction say? This is uh, her UV image. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, right there. Don't go anywhere. Okay. So what we're seeing is uh -huh. her UV damage beneath the surface layer of her skin, and this part of it is surface, and part of it is beneath the surface layer. So Sarah, how old are you? 22. You're 22 years old. Okay. I'm 10 years older than you. I'm 32. I'm old, child. Ten years older. Um, can you compare sk Sarah's skin and my skin? Yes, oh, my God. Sarah, is that you in oh, 20 oh years? No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Put it away. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah, we're all going to die of something. It doesn't matter. I mean, we're all just going to die. <laughs> you know what's so crazy? You don't care about dying, but you want to look cute. You notice? She's like, oh, I'll die, but ooh, look at me. I look bad. Definitely. Yeah. It makes me sick. <laughs> it makes yeah. you sick. You gonna make a change? Um, SPF might be in the future. <laughs> SPF. Definitely wear your sunscreen. Uh, definitely. A 30, Sarah. And you know what? The tan in the bottle is just as cute. It really is. It really is. And nobody knows the difference. Not these days.